So recently on YouTube, I've been seeing a lot of videos that are like restoring old shoes, restoring old barbells. So let's do our own with vintage Pokemon cards. So first off, in order to restore a Pokemon card, you gotta get it in bad condition. Now, I don't know how y'all take such bad care of your cards. I see some cards that are just like bent in half, ripped in half, and skid marks on some. Now personally, like the worst condition card I own has just a little cum stain on it. And it may or may not be a Gardevoir card. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything though. So I'm pretty sure the lowest grade on the PSA scale is a PSA 1. So what we're gonna be shooting for is at least a PSA negative 3. Now, right here, I got myself a, a nice fossil set Zubat in mint condition, all right? It, it looks it looks pretty good, right? I have like 30 of these, so you know, they're pretty pretty disposable, just like uh just like women. <laughs> So first off, we're gonna scrape this card against the concrete. Now, basically what this is, it's, it's kind of simulating. It's pretty much simulating the effect of elementary schoolers at recess, you know, playing Pokemon cards on the ground. They're like that. Zubat, use Leech Light. So we're just gonna scrape this against the ground real quick. Oh, holy crap. I just created some fire, guys. All right, we gotta get it from the side now. You gotta get it at every angle. You gotta get it on the edges. Oh yeah. All right, now we got, you know, we got that done. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. That's like a, I think that would get like a PSA three, like at least. So next up, why we have the ax is, this is also a pretty normal thing for, you know, Pokemon TCG players to do. Just axing firewood on top of the card. Hey. Now that's looking crisp. That's like that's like a PSA one now, but we got to go a little lower Now a pretty typical thing for you know Pokemon TCG player if they lose they usually rage a little bit now It's usually different for some people, but I'm pretty sure the typical thing that people do is throw logs at their cards I just freaking lost the game <laughs> Oh, I'm sweating a little bit guys like I think this Pokemon card is too. I mean he's been through the work I think this is at least like a PSA negative too Yeah, this is my this is my little homie Quan. Um, it's one of my friends. He chills out, you know Welcome to the crib guys now sometimes when a Pokemon player wins, you know, like a game a tournament they go celebratory bowl I don't know if I want to do this bit. This thing literally has snails all over it. All right, all right. Oh, there's literally spider webs in the holes Oh, my brain raised no. Oh. Okay, okay, get the shot. Pin to the card, all right. Oh. Oh, no. I'm gonna fall. All right, guys, you see that? That's, that's fossil set Zubat right there. All right. All right. <laughs> Alright guys, now the first step of the restoration process is you're gonna need some supplies. First, you're gonna need some kind of measuring device. You know, that's pretty advanced. You're gonna need some kind of coloring device. That's pretty advanced too. A little bit of tape, some paper, and then some scissors. This is as dull as every white kid in public schools. Alright, so first step, you gotta measure the dimensions of the Pokemon card. So first off, here it's around uh, 2.2 inches, you know, roughly roughly the size of my wiener you know a little bigger than that but you know it's fine and then three inches for the length so now what you need to do is take out some of your sharpies by the way guys please don't tell my mom on me that i took her sharpies she may spank me and um you know put me in the corner and we don't want that because then i can't make videos now you want to measure measure the size of the card on paper so all right guys here the card is way better now you gotta have the 
the box a little you gotta leave a little space for the title you know of the the card now next up you want to do the name this is pretty simple you always want to do this in black because that's what the names are always in now i don't got a black sharpie right so i gotta use a pen oh yes okay it's perfect right there and then next this is really important we want to make sure that everybody can see what set it's from so this is obviously from fossil set you so you want to do a little fossil ah that that's now that's perfect guys you can't tell me that that's really good now this is the most important part it's actually the picture this is what makes the card the most believable so you gotta you gotta be an artiste at doing this so crap i actually forgot what zubat looked like all right i got a picture of the zubat going so here's what the body looks like it's a little fat it's a little plump but that's that's how you like it right oh there that's perfect and a important part is you don't want to go the picture make the picture go outside of the border because then it's very unbelievable and we don't we don't want the card to look unbelievably like wrong you know and now next up is the move set so obviously this pokemon has supersonic and leech light and you want to do the stars near it that takes two stars and flip a coin of heads confused and then we gotta do the attack cost which is 10 and then last but not least we have to write the hp because if we if we left out anything this card wouldn't look legit so 40 hp and there we have it guys our very own jubat let's get this ready for psa let's get this in a uh, sleeve because we really want to make sure we've preserved the condition and this is a really good condition card and then we want to put it in a top loader we just are really trying to preserve the quality of this beautiful car. Two weeks later. Ooh, car from PSA. My neighbors probably think I'm so retarded. All right, guys, so the card did just come back from PSA. So let's see what this card got as a grading. So what I'm thinking is it got at least a PSA 7. Oh my God, this is no way. A PSA 13, guys, that is insane. That is the first ever to ever happen. No one else has ever gotten a PSA 13 and they even marked it as an error slash misprint. Guys, we really fooled those guys at PSA. They're pretty gullible. Let's not lie. They will, they'll probably give like, you know, if you rolled up a piece of shit and made it look like a Pokemon card, they'd probably give it at least a PSA 5. But anyways, guys, I really hope you did enjoy the video. This was one of the most fun videos I've ever had recording. So yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And make sure to comment what if, you know, you use this restoration process and if it worked for you and what you got back from PSA. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.